Hey, and welcome back to another guitar session with your host, Jason Carey. And today we're talking about picks. What does a pick do for us? We're going to find out right now. First of all, we have a, a number of different kinds of picks. We have a Jim Dunlop nylon pick with a really thin pick with a grip on this on the side so you don't drop it. That's a bonus. When you strum the guitar with, with this pick, it's the pick folds over and it, when it releases it slaps the next string so it does this you know really nice percussive thing so on a G5 chord it's pretty exciting now we have another pick here it's also a white pick but it's quite a bit heavier and it's a, a Wiegand pick. It's a, a very thick pick and it has almost no give in it. it. Doesn't fold over at all. It has some rounded edges on it, some nice round shapes to it, and then it has a thick round sound. It's not really that great for strumming, you know, but it's great for... It's great... It's great for this really nice single note stuff. Now here's a Fender pick. It's it's a thin, sort of like teardrop shaped pick. And that's another nice. That's a nice one to strum around with and put some bass notes, you know, move some bass notes around on your guitar. That's pretty cool. Here's another one. It's a black one like that that other white Jim Dunlop pick that it's a, it's a heavier pick though. It's got a grip on it so you don't drop it. And this also sounds pretty good on a G chord. It's a little more muted. It's a little more, you know, there's not so much high end. Let's compare this one with the same brand, just a really paper thin pick, you know, and some grippies on the side. That pick is pretty cool. We have a Tortex. Jim Dunlop used to make this, I'm not sure if they still do, but they have this really cool, like, it's like a really pointy pick and it's supposed to represent sort of tortoiseshell uh, and replicate that. But it's also good for for single note stuff. It's, it's a pretty bright sounding pick, so it's that. Here's a glass pick. This one's kind of fun. This one's made out of glass. It's got some cool patterns in it, you know, the, the grip patterns, but it's so thick and it's got no give at all. It's not like a... You get this kind of... scrapey sound over the, over the chord, so it sounds a little different. It has its own qualities. But if you start if you start doing the single note stuff with it it's it's a different pick altogether here's something that's really cool it's made out of um, ebony it's made out of wood this pick is really kind of a Old pick that is kind of starting to wear down for me. But it's designed to... Really make like a nice sort of clean sound, you know? Smooth sound. So here's that thick wood pick, the ebony, and this thin, paper thin white pick that we started with. And once again, that ebony pick. And then once again, this thin pick. Quite a bit of difference. It's got a really nice, you know, bright sound. And there we are again. That's our quick pick study for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was useful. And I hope you continue playing guitar. Until next time, happy picking.